I've been watching a lot of videos about India recently. So I thought it would be quite interesting if I looked into some other countries too. And one that came out was 10 surprising facts about the Philippines. And I lived in the Philippines for quite a long time. So I'm wondering if I know all of them. I hope I know all of them. So yes. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and let's go to the video. In today's video, we'll mm -hmm. be exploring 10 surprising facts about the I think I know that place. country of the Philippines. Oh, the Philippines, an archipelago wonder. A country mm -hmm. that is a vacationer's dream, a foodie's delight, and a place that is I love the pork and chicken the there. globe as one of the friendliest nations around. The Philippines has become quite the destination over the last 10 years, seeing more and more tourists flock there for mm -hmm. the incredibly crystal blue waters, remote islands, and the freshest coconuts in the world. I uh, the coconuts are very good. I was to the Philippines mm -hmm. a few years ago and felt like I was surrounded by a beautiful oasis. It's actually the perfect place to get your scuba diving license if you're ever interested. I did and it was a great experience. So if you've ever been, drop your comments below mm -hmm. to let us know what some of your favorite parts of the Philippines are. In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 surprising facts about the Philippines. I hope you'll enjoy today's facts. I definitely learned some new things while researching some of the fun bits of information. Fact number 10, the okay. Philippines is the 13th most populous country in the world and the 7th most populous country in Asia. Is it 13? Which is actually quite impressive considering I didn't really the know the exact in numbers, but there are a lot of people. The Philippines welcomed its 100 millionth citizen. Interestingly, the annual growth rate of the country is about 2%, which makes it amongst the fastest growing countries countries in the world. Have you ever wondered where the beautiful country, the Philippines, got its name from? Well, the islands were Wait, actually I know this. named after King, King Philip the Second yes. of Spain. Yes, the yes, I got it right. A lot of influence from other countries over the years, especially from the Empire of Spain. All my shopping lovers, this fact is for you. Filipinos mm -hmm. are actually big fans of a good shopping mall. Out of the top they 10 have a lot largest of shopping, shopping malls. malls in the world, three are found in the Philippines. The SM Mega Mall, the SM oh, I know that place. Yes, I know SM that place. I've been to two of these places, the SM Mega Mall and SM Mall of Asia. <laughs> like SM Mega Mall is quite, it's big and like you could go around in one day without feeling that tired. Mall of Asia is too big. Like it's way too big. <laughs> so like, I don't think I've ever really shopped in Mall of Asia. <laughs> Cause it's, it's way too big and I get really tired. But yeah, I, I do remember this, but I remember that globe. Yeah, I remember that place. Asia, I can just see all of our shopaholic fans getting ready to book their flights for some solid retail therapy. Now, when you envision the Philippines' geographical makeup, what do you see? Well, did you know that the entire landmass of the Philippines is made up of islands? Yep. Which actually yes. makes it amongst the top archipelagos in the That's world. That's why it's called an archipelago. Six. As a result of Spanish colonization, the Philippines' mm -hmm. predominant religion is Christianity. True. 90% of the country actually practices Protestant Christianity, and the other vast majority practice Roman Catholicism. Now, mm, for all of you foodies out there, if you travel to the Philippines, you will not be able to leave without trying one of their freshest, famous exports, the coconut. coconut? Otherwise yes. known by the locals as buko. buko. I was very surprised to learn that the Philippines produces and exports more coconut than any country in the world shipping what about the coconut, so good. 5 million tons uh, of this fruit I want some coconut every year that's a lot of coconuts all right our next fact brings us to talk about jeepneys. They are a classic uh, and unique mode of transportation yes. in the country. They are a really fun, bright, and convenient form of transportation that many Filipinos use daily to get around. I've wrote that a few times. Like I think I wrote it like three times, I think, in my stay in the Philippines. Uh, it's quite fun, but I don't think I've ever wrote it alone because I didn't really understand the uh, how you get off. I don't, I, I didn't really understand where you're supposed to get off. So like I would get, I would ride the jeepney if I was with my Filipino friend, but not really alone because I, I don't know how to get off. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's, it's quite, it's not a, it's cool. It's a bit of a bumpy ride, but it's not bad. 
around. Even local cabs can be seen in the form of a jeepney. If you've ever seen one, get ready for the sight of these incredible little trucks. After the Second World War, the mm -hmm. Philippine Jeepney was created from the idea of the GI Jeeps American soldiers brought mm -hmm. over to the country in the 1940s. All right, let's get into the more social side of things. Now, Filipinos are some of the most social and amongst the top texters in the world. Oh, it yes. It was actually reported in 2009 that 1.39 <laughs> billion SMS messages were being sent within the Philippines daily. The country was one of the earliest spots to adopt the method of text messaging for communication, mm -hmm. earning the title text capital of the world from the mid-90s to the early 2000s. <laughs> Understandably, Filipinos are celebrated for their social nature, being well known for their warm and welcoming family and friend oriented values. Mm -hmm. For all of you sports lovers out there, this next fact is for you. Filipinos are in fact huge basketball fanatics. Yes, they are the crazy about basketball. To be true. And if you ever plan to visit, get ready to see basketball and NBA paraphernalia everywhere. It is not uncommon for many of the young boys to be sporting popular American NBA team jerseys mm, and to find true. a basketball game going on around pretty much That's also true. Yeah, you can see that everywhere. courts can be found in just about every town and Filipinos make it a priority to set up leagues at community halls. The Philippines Basketball Association or PBA is actually the second oldest in the world after the NBA. Oh really? I, I did not no know idea. that. I had no idea. Interestingly enough, many Filipinos actually get the opportunity to go and play in American colleges and then bring back their experiences to their home country to play in the PBA League. All right, bringing us down to fact number one. There okay. are about 175 languages spoken in the Philippines, with 171 of them being considered to be living languages. The other four tribal dialects have recently been reported to have no known <coughs> living speakers. Some of Were the there that many? Here are Tagalog, I know Tagalog, Tagalog Waray, Bicolano, and Kapampangan. The country's oh, Kapampangan. official languages are Filipino, which is based on Tagalog and English. Mm. Actually, the Philippines is the fifth largest English-speaking nation. True, everyone, US, almost everyone India, speaks Pakistan, English there. And the UK. Yeah, uh, I think I got m most of it, right? I think I knew most of it. Yeah. But it was nice, uh, kind of like, uh, hearing out with the Philippines again. They didn't really talk about how Filipinos love chicken and pork. Cause they're, the chicken and pork there is amazing too. Anyway guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and I'll see you guys in the next one guys. Bye.